Moving on to the second exercise of week eight for Washington Youth Soccer's U8 age-appropriate training curriculum, Darren. Uh, we're now focusing on the uh, individual activities, working to improve individual attacking skills, um, but still looking at attacking duels as our major theme. So you've got one team going to goal, so the defending team serves the attacking team. The defending team is serving the attacking players. And as, as this player turns, here comes the duel. It's a 1v1 to goal. He's looking to emphasize, and he's beyond him. Okay, and there's no wrong way if you're getting by people. So you want to emphasize and reward uh, with a good job and positive uh, uh, reinforcement when a player gets beyond another player. So the game goes on that one team is the defending team, one team is the attacking team. Uh, the orange team is defending. If the orange team win the ball, they go to the counter goal. So there's a target for them and an end product for them as well, which is so important. And if the green team get past the, the defender, they go to goal as quickly as they can. And what you're looking for here, especially on the first touch, the first touch is everything. Can you, on your first touch, go and put, be, be played into the space where you want to go? You know, exactly right. You know, and, and it's a duel, isn't it? There's no one perfect way to do it. If you win the duel, if you get beyond and create an opportunity for an end product, um, then you've done your job. So a good first touch into space and into the direction you want to go. Be positive, a good positive first touch towards the target. In this case, it's the goal. Obviously, good control and quality moves to beat your opponent. This is where the players need to express themselves, not just at the training session, but take this home with them so they can do this day in, day out and, and become re repetitive with it. So when it comes into the game scenario, it becomes natural. No, exactly. And when you're talking about key coaching points as you're coaching here, quality first touch, close control, uh, your quality of moves to beat the defender. Again, uh, if they get it done, that's a quality move. Um, accuracy of the shot on goal, and you want to breed confidence. Reward them for unbalancing a defender. And as you can see, uh, what's really important is the end product. So you beat a defender. You create that space, you create that chance, and then what's the end product? So in this case, it's a shot on target, it's a shot into the goal. No, exactly right, Gary. And, and, and you want to remember, uh, you want to talk about the ability level. Uh, try to change the game and, and maneuver the game that's put together here, the activity, um, so that it fits the ability level of the player. Uh, if you're finding they're not having success, slow it down a little bit and emphasize the technique of unbalancing a defender in different ways. And as you can see, the coach has progressed now into a 2v2 scenario. Uh, and you, you could go to a 3v3 and a 4v4. And this, again, could lead you nicely into your last game. You'll find within the training session uh, that the kids figure it out, they have fun, and they have smiles on their faces. Uh, there are all kinds of ways to make sure that you uh, uh, keep the enthusiasm up, but the game itself is the funnest part. And make sure you keep rotating the goalkeeper. We keep rotating the teams from defending to attacking. So for a minute or two minutes, one team is defending all the time, and then they change. Make sure we keep changing the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper is a very important part of the game, and we need to get everybody a chance to play in goal.